Hi, my name is Isaac. And I'm Nick. And we're going to shake that thing up. We're playing Shake That Feather today. All right, Nick. So tell me. Uh, so the reason Nick's playing today is because we realized that Janet was cheating before we were setting up. She was going to play the game, but we realized that Nick turned around. She had made herself a big old gap when mine was still closed and confined. And you know what? Good thing we have Christina Asher with us today because she is a woman of character, a woman who wants us to be fair when we play games. So you know what? She had to sub in Nick. So thank you, Christina, for making sure that Janet doesn't cheat like usual. So Janet is the one behind the camera right now just drinking water because she knows she's a cheater. But she hey, Janet, this. next time you can play me. But Nick, do you think you have a chance at all to beat me? That's a good question. We'll find out. We'll find out. All right, Nick. So, with all the games that we've been playing and all, which one has been your favorite? Today's, right? Probably this one. Probably yeah. today's, right? <laughs> Everyone has so far said that they loved our apple bobbing game, so maybe we'll bring that back. Who knows? Because I know that I won that one, but Janet said that she won that one, but we all know she's a cheater. Okay. All right. Are we ready? Yes. Yeah. So, we're going to just shake it out, right? Can one. someone count us down? Yeah. Am I almost done? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Nick, you're destroying the box. You made it worse. It's all stuck. I'm done. Oh my God. Nick, turn it around so you can see how much you have left. <laughs> you smashed them in the box. You know None. Who won? That was me. You won? Yeah. Good game. Why am I tired? I'm tired as heck. I have a mad headache now. My fellow Americans. My fellow Elevate You. My fellow Dorians. My fellow Nicks. My fellow Hanets. There's only one Hanet. My fellow Arionas. My fellow people. I won today's game, and I want you all to know that as Elevate Youth, I know that we are excited that I won, because hey, I am the man of the people. I am the people's choice, and you know what? It was great that we got a little break from the usual duo of me and Janet. Hey, next week, it may not even be me. Maybe it'll be Janet, but all I'm saying is I may not be a part of that filming next week, but I need you guys to keep an eye on her. She may cheat while I'm gone. Who knows? But I can say this. I whooped Nick. I think we all saw that one coming, but it's okay, because I mean, I'm a winner. I'm used to it, you know, getting this humble, it takes just a long time, you know, it's just a life of sacrifice, and I just embody humility, right, Dorian? He said yes, I pointed a gun at him, um, but no, I'm just kidding, guys, but I think it was a pretty cool game. For our Christmas theme game, I think it's going to be pretty cool. I'm actually really excited for it. I think it has something to do with gingerbread houses. That's just a rumor on the street, huh? I don't know, but it may happen. But with today's game, what does that have to do with anything in the Bible? Shaking feathers. Let me tell you, I don't know either. But I do know this, that sometimes in life, we just gotta shake some things off. What's that one Taylor Swift song, right? Shake it off, shake it off. <laughs> Taylor Swift, you know, she's like the, the greatest poet of our day. I'm just kidding, no, she's not. But Tay Tay has got a point. Sometimes you just got to shake it off. And you know what's the one big thing that all of us need to shake off? Drum roll. Sin. Sin. It always kind of weighs us down. I know we were using feathers, but you know what sin is like? It's like us having a belt, right? Or a backpack full of boulders. Do you think we could carry that around all day? No. Dorian, do you think we could carry that around all day? You want to carry around a bag of boulders? A bag of big old rocks for fun? No, I wouldn't. You know, and hey, Nick, he did a good job. Nick, come up here. Uh, we just need to see your body ratio compared to mine. Yes. Nick, do you think with your body weight, 
you could you could carry about 200 pounds of rocks all day. I'm not even 100 pounds. How much are you? Do you actually weigh? Like 115. <laughs> I think I was 115 pounds when I was a baby. All right, thank, thank you. Nick. <laughs> right, so you saw how Nick was, right? And you saw how I am. Okay, I think I can handle like maybe 50 pounds, but I couldn't do 200 pounds of rocks all the time. But you know what? A lot of us, you and I are doing that when we don't invite God in. We're just carrying around a big bag full of rocks, full of things that hold us down, full of things that always make us fall. Because imagine you have a big bag of rocks and you're trying to run and all that. You're going to start tripping. And you know what you're going to start feeling? You're going to start feeling tired. You're going to start feeling weak. You don't want to do anything anymore. You're not happy. You know why? Because you got a big old bag full of stuff and it's making you tired. And you know what? And by the time you come to Elevate Youth, you're already so done. You're like, I'm so tired. I'm not going to raise my hand. You know, everything starts weighing on you. And then no wonder people don't understand you because not everyone sees the big bag, the big invisible bag that you're carrying. And we want you to know at Elevate Youth, we see that bag. We may, we may not be able to see every single thing that weighs you down, but we know that all of you have a bag. Because you know what? Each of us have a bag too. And you know what it says in the Bible? In Hebrews 12, 1 through 3. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance. See, Taylor Swift stole it from the Bible. It said you gotta throw it off, throw off everything. You know what's so funny? You know how we deal with everything in life, right? We have all these problems that we're carrying. You know how you get rid of them? You gotta throw them off. And how do you throw it off, Isaac? How am I supposed to throw off this invisible bag that I barely know what I'm carrying? I got the answer for you. Well, I know the answer for you. And his name is Jesus. And you know how, okay, Isaac, you're just saying Jesus is the answer. Okay, let's take it a little bit deeper. Right, so when you get a band, like when you get cut, right, you wanna get a band-aid, right? You wanna cover the wound. Do you just tell somebody, hey guys, I wish I had a band-aid. Is that gonna work? Is a magical band-aid gonna fall from heaven with little glistening light on it and wrap the wound? No. What do you got to do? You got to go look for the band-aid. And what do you got to go do after that? You have to apply the band-aid. And that, that's like us with God. You have to go look for God. Because God will find you. You know where the band-aid's at. It's in the first aid kit. Our God is at home with you. Our God's at church. Like first aid kits are everywhere. All you have to do is you have to go search for it. And then after that, you have to apply it. How do you apply the band-aid? How do you apply God in your life? How do you apply Jesus, His forgiveness? You admit when you have a band-aid, do you just get a band-aid for when you don't have anything ha happening with your hand? There has to be a problem in order for you to use a band-aid. You have to admit that you have a problem. You have to admit that you're hurting. You have to admit that you're carrying a lot. And then you give it to God and you pray and you tell God. And I know we say pray. You can talk like as if I talk to Nick or as if I talk to Janet. Janet, Nick, Dorian, I need help. I'm dealing with this at home. My parents are arguing. I'm arguing with my parents. I'm really annoyed with them. My school, it sucks. I'm not doing good in classes. I'm really upset at my friend and I hate the world. That's it. That's all how you could do to pray to God. It's a conversation. We made it so religious over time and over years that we had to make it this whole ritual. I gotta get on my knees. I have to pray. I gotta, like, all you have to do is talk with God. Let him know what you need. Tell him that you're carrying a big bag and you're done. You're done with carrying it. Because Jesus says he'll carry that bag for you and I. He carried my bag. Trust me, in high school, I, I've, I've, I went through a lot. And not only that, I always dealt with people. Always people telling me about their opinions of myself. And always hurt carrying around all these things that people would say about me. Because I'm a pastor's kid. Everyone knows how a pastor's kid should be, but none of them have ever been it. And everyone told me, this is what Isaac's supposed to be doing. This is how Isaac should be said. Isaac, you're doing this. Isaac, you need to lead like this. Isaac, you need to treat the kids like... I was carrying so much. And you know what? One day I just stopped caring. You know why? Not because I'm like, oh, I don't care what they say. No, because I gave the bag to God. I gave the bag of all these lies that people told me, all, all these opinions that people had of me, all these things of, of, of school and friends. I just gave it to God and said, God, I need your help. I don't know how, but I need your help. And you know how he helped me? He sent me the right people. You know who those right people are? Those Arionas those Janets, those Georges, those Nicks, those Dorians. You know, I know we give a lot of our time to the youth and to you guys, 
But what saved me and what made me believe more in God more than ever was you. You, the viewers. Seeing you come in sometimes sad or seeing you guys come in come in happy, it motivated me to want to be better. It motivated me want to be to be more. And it motivated me to search God more so that I could help you. And you know who helped me? You helped me. You were the Jesus to me. You may be searching everywhere. Where's this Jesus guy at? Look in the mirror. It's you. You've been a Jesus to me. Because we're his children. We all have a little bit of Jesus in us. So if you want God to help you today, help somebody. You all have friends that are dealing with, with stuff. You have friends who are dealing with hurt, pain. Be the healing for them. Be the Jesus. And I hope that I can be a Jesus to you today. And you know what? Give off everything. Everything that holds you back. Give it to God. God, I'm, I'm letting go of the shame of all the things that I've done behind my parents' back. Or the things that I feel guilty of when no one's watching. God, I'm giving you all the fear. All the doubt, the depression that I feel that I'm alone and no one cares. I'm giving that to you, God. I need, I need something better. I need to be happy. I want to enjoy life. You can tell that to God today and I believe that he's going to send you the right people. And you know what? You have a place and you have a home here at Elevate You. We love you here. We can't wait. We get excited to see you. We can't wait to, to play with you, eat with you, do games with you, learn with you, cry with you. So there is hope. So throw off all the excuses too of why you won't give God a chance. You have nothing to lose. You've made it this far because God. And if you want to make it farther, you need God as well. So I encourage you, wherever you're at, it's okay if you're not perfect. And I'm sorry for the times people told you that you weren't or that you were this and that you were that. Or your family said, you're not smart enough. You need to work harder. You need to do this. You need to do that. I'm sorry for the times people have said things that may have hurt you. But I want you to know this, that God loves you and I love you. And I hope that you can come join us and be a part of this family here. And it's hard doing these videos every single week for everybody. These All, all these kids here have families. Janet has her own family. I have my own family. All, the, like, all of our teams have families. Ariana has a family. But you know we, why we do this? Because what God did for us. So this isn't for waste. We give our time for you. And I want you to know that, that it's, not, it's not for nothing because we know that your life can change because we believe in it. We're not just here to do fun games. We're here because we care and we love you. So if that's you today, I just want you to bow your head, close your eyes, and I just want to pray for you. So Father, if that's, if that's someone out there today, even me, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you would remind us that you love us, that you died and you sent your son Jesus and you rose again so that we could be whole and healed. That you forgave us. That we don't have to feel shame or guilt anymore. That we get to be free. And like it says in John 8.36, 8, For who the Son sets free is free indeed. So I pray that we would feel freedom today. That today we'd be a little bit happier. That today you would give us the strength. You would give us just a little bit of hope just to keep going further. And I pray for those who feel alone, that feel depressed that feel like they have nobody. I pray, Lord Jesus, that they would know that they are loved and that we love them and that they would come and visit us. And if they can't, that they would just get connected with us, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And if that's you, and if you can't come to Elevate Youth due to COVID, then we want you to do is follow us at Elevate Youth on Instagram. Elevate underscore youth, right? Elevate underscore youth. Underscore Elevate Youth. My bad. I'm terrible with technology. I don't have an Instagram anymore, so forgive me. So get connected with us on there. Follow us. DM us. Say, I want to get connected to an e-group. You know, you can join the best e-group on the planet, mine, or you can go to the second best, Janet. Uh, but hey, it's still a great e-group. I'm kidding. We all have great e-groups. But really, get connected with us. We love you. We can't wait to see you. Come check us out this Wednesday so you can see your boy, the man of the people, Isaac Ruiz. But we love you. Thank you so much and have a great day.